disappointing. They played, in my opinion, probably the best that we played at home for a little while. Uh, I think it was ill-disciplined for the players that let them down. I think James Henry just went wandering off uh, early second half, didn't stay in his, possession, uh, in his position. Uh, they then had two, two on one against Iorfa. Jack Price was having to cover and that will let them back into the game really, I think. I mean, first half, a phobie could have had three or even four goals in the first 20 minutes. We were so much on top for the first 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, second half, I, I don't know what happened, we never got going. No. Uh, and that's probably as poor a second half performance as I've seen from the Wolves side for a while, to be honest. Yeah. Um, not very good, I think we could have I think it was a bit disappointing, we came out fighting see them build up to a goal and then we really lost our confidence and they, they walked right through us until the last 20 minutes I think, yeah, left it too late. Kenny Jackie didn't really have an answer to it for me, you know, he didn't really, you know, he didn't counteract what they'd done to change it and that's what caused cost us. Benny Clough back on the score sheet, but could have scored two or three, couldn't he, before the break? Oh, he could, yeah. Um, the first one he had, it was on his left foot and he sort of screwed it horribly wide, but yeah, he had another chance on his right foot again that he put wide, I thought was in from where we were sitting, but yeah, that would have made the difference, obviously it would have been 3-0 up if he'd have uh, got a hat-trick first half. You know, two wins from 11 home games, we're looking down rather than up unfortunately, and the next couple of games are going to determine which way we're going to be looking. Absolutely, and it could also determine whether you're going to be a signing club in January as well. Well, I mean, again, uh, Benny Kofobe, you know, he scored one tonight. Last season, he probably would have got two or three of them. Yeah. Um, the other side of the coin, then, he's not going to be worth the money that potentially he was worth pre season. Um, so I don't know. Obviously, there's, there's unrest with the club being up for sale and everything. And then, what about Kenny Jack? How, how, how do you see him? Do you see he's the right man for the job? I still think he's the right man. Give him a bit of money, and I think he'll still be up there at the end of the season. But you're going to get that money? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I think mid table. I think we're very mid table. Yeah. And Kenny Jackie, you're so happy to have him in charge. Yeah. He's the right man. Who, who else are we going to have? David Moyes. He's a little bit more controversial than I am. But I don't, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't have. I'm, I'm on the fence. On the fence. We need a new owner. Yeah. Well, where do you see this season going now? Do you think it's more just mid table mediocrity? Or? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It was all all down for me and not uh, investing in August. Uh, it was clear by the end of August that we, we weren't good enough. Um, obviously, then we lost uh, Dicko, and uh, we needed to, to spend a little bit of money, like the likes of Derby and people like that, on the transfer day, and we didn't bring anybody in. So, yeah, that was where it's definitely.